What's up explorers and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is James and I travel part time in my self converted 94 Chevy Astra. For literally the past week it's been raining constantly and I figured with Helen the hurricane on the way I would get out and get a little adventure and stretch my legs a little bit on the trail and just get some of that good old mother nature healing in. So grab your snack, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All this rain, the river is really flowing. This is like a trail right there, part of a trail. But the Appomattox River is so high right now. It's flowing nicely standing under the tree canopy walking on a soft moss covered ground i observed the appomattox river and its flow with all of its glory the river changes this color because of heavy sediments that enters during rainstorms and a lot of times the water in virginia is pretty much a bright orange These sort of Y branch type trees, they're great for breaking firewood. All you would do is put the stick or log in between and then pull and that's going to break the firewood. They're also really awesome for building shelters. You would just put your ridge right there, your log, just lay it in there at an angle and then put bigger to smaller size sticks on the side cover that with leaves or moss that's going to insulate it also help to waterproof it and you got yourself a shelter a really good fire starter is this pine pitch right here this stuff once you light it it turns into liquidy and it's a really good fire starter it's also a really good band-aid if you have a small cut and it's still liquid just heat it up a little bit, smear it on there, and that's going to seal up that cut. I've got some on my tripod, and that will not come off. That is so hard to get off. We made it back to the van, beat the rain, got a nice little ride in, and also showed you how to utilize pine sap for medical purposes and also a fire starting material. It's such a great way. It's also like once you light it and it starts to drip, it hardens and it's like a super glue. So you could basically use it like a glue as well. Pine sap is antiseptic, antibacterial, perfect nature's band-aid. My Blue Lion snack haul, we got the organic dark covered chocolate almonds, and then we got the uh, Lenny and Larry's cookie five bar or something. Yeah, these are good. The peanut butter ones are good too. These are my favorite snack ever. These are so good and great for your brain. Helen is making its way up toward Virginia, but it's gonna curve and go toward more like Tennessee area. So we shouldn't get too bad of a weather right now. The wind is about 10, 15 mile per hour gust. Um, no rain yet, but rain is supposedly be here in like 10 minutes. I'm on the way to the store. I gotta get food and I gotta get snacks and I'm just gonna wait it out. It shouldn't be too bad, but the schools and stuff are canceled. We're under tornado watch. We have flood watches. So we'll see how this goes and I definitely will keep y'all updated. You can see those rain clouds moving in. The sky's about to drop. All right, I'm out of food line. I got a bunch of snacks, veggie sticks, of course the ramen noodles, cause they're quick and easy. My favorite snack, already gone, already ate them. 
Uh, these are my favorite ever since they stopped selling the cheese puffs in Food Lion. I don't know why, but they stopped selling the cheese puffs. <laughs> and then I found these nut duos, yo. Espresso flavored hazelnuts and cocoa flavored cashews. I love anything dark chocolate. Those are so good. I tasted them. They're really good. And then the old broccoli stir fry frozen vegetables. Because I add them to the ramen noodles. Just to make it a bit healthier. You know? Even though it's still not that healthy. <laughs> it is starting to rain right now. And I suspect that it's going to pick up. It's going to be pretty heavy since the edge of the uh, storm's going to swing through. The wind probably will pick up. It's not very windy right now, but I made sure that I parked as far as as far away from the trees as possible. <laughs> I can't even talk. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I have just been sleeping a lot. The rain definitely put me out. It's not raining anymore. The wind has calmed down quite a bit. Not that the wind was really strong anyways. Uh, we did get a bit of rain. It rained extra, extra hard. And back here, the uh, big got a little wet from like a few drips of water but considering how hard it rained i'm happy with that result it didn't get on the floor it dripped in like the gutter back here it's like part of the bumper so it drips in that and then it, it rolls out so hey as many leaks as this van has had since i've had it i'm happy with that little leak the uh the bed's already dry and it just dripped on like like a little slither of it like it barely touched it so i'm happy but yeah since i've had this van there has been a, so many leaks back there and i mean so many leaks it's insane i've siliconed it i got the new seals for it. they were like 300 and $15 and I had to get them custom made because they don't make them anymore. I've put um, that the uh, butyl tape that's what it's called the butyl tape back there that has helped seal up the water for running inside. So I've done so much to fix these leaks on these doors and it were oh and don't forget that I uh, sealed up the third brake light as well so I literally have done so much magic on these back doors. I'm happy with that result. It is a 31 year old van, so I'm expecting it to leak a little bit. <laughs> but as long as it doesn't wreak havoc, cause any mold or anything, I'm happy with that result. I'm hoping wherever you're watching this from, if you were in the path of Helen, I'm hoping that everything worked out in your favor. I'll be sending you good vibes to help with your journey on cleaning up all this mess because I know there was a lot of trees down. There has been a lot of flooding. I've seen some of my friends on Instagram stories showing how they have like their driveways washed away. No cell service in Asheville, no power in Asheville. So. If y'all are in that area, I'm definitely sending you good vibes, good healing vibes to continue and rebuild from here on out. Just gonna light up some Palo Santo incense sticks vibe out, relax. Oh, I love Palo Santo. There we go. Ugh. 
But y'all, this is really all that I have for today. I've been mostly stuck in one place because of the weather, the tornado watches. I know the next county over had a tornado warning. Um, I'm so glad we didn't have a tornado warning. But um, yeah, that's really all I have for today. Now I'm just gonna relax, unwind, edit up this video so I can have it out for y'all tomorrow. And I always appreciate each and every one of you that watch my videos, support me, like, comment, and subscribe, helping my videos get out into the YouTube universe. That means so much to me. Thank you so much. But as always, explorers, peace, love, and have a great day wherever you are.